Today at the tasting table, I tell you which dog you should be downing on Memorial Day weekend. So you guys made me do this. What happened is I put on a poll on both Instagram and my Facebook story and I had a vote if you guys wanted hot dogs reviewed. And although I did get some no's, and thank you to those of you who voted no because that makes me think you care about my health and well-being, but overwhelmingly the majority was yes, make the video. So I got my Prevacid ready, I have Pepto on tap. We got some water. We haven't ate much today, so I can down eight different hot dog brands. Now, what I want to say is apologies in advance. There is no Hebrew national. And I know that's going to rub some of you the wrong way, but I went to Harris Teeter, and that's simply what they have. Now, the eight brands we are going for today are Ballpark Uncured Angus Beef Franks, Waltney Great Dogs Franks made with chicken and pork. Solid Smokehouse Hot Dogs, which is made with pork and beef. Applegate Naturals Natural Uncured Beef Hot Dog. Nathan's Famous Skinless Beef Franks. Oscar Mayer Classic Beef Uncured Franks. HT Trader, so that's the Harris Teeter brand, all beef franks. And Coleman Natural Beef Uncured Hot Dogs. Now, in terms of condiments, there's only one answer. Obviously, I'm not gonna eat them plain. I'm not a serial killer. The only condiment that goes on hot dogs is ketchup. So, we will be going pure ketchup on all eight, a traditional, just basic kind of grocery store bun, and let's get started. Stepping in at number one. We have the Ballpark brand hot dog. Now in terms of cookery on this, which you can see popping up right now, as I grilled them all on the uh, kind of stovetop grill situation, I like my hot dogs a little bit charred. So we got some black on here, but I cooked them all similarly as to not bias one against the other. But let's take the bite into my first dog. Okay. I may already apologize to those of you who voted up on this, but that was delicious. Mmm. By the way, oh no, we got we got we got a we got a partner here. Rosa, I will give you a little bite. Enjoy, go away. This is good. I'm giving this. We're popping off with a 7.5 off the top. A nice ballpark weenie, 7.5. It won't stand, but it's okay. Let's move on to hot dog number two. We're off to a good start. Hot dog number two, we're looking at Waltney, which I have no idea what that is. With that said, um, number one, ballpark's giving me a good vibe. So let's take a bite into, into this Waltney situation. Mama, no! That! Mm. This is what I was worried about. Um, is It tastes weird. It doesn't have as much of like a charred, smoky flavor as I get from the ballpark. It has kind of a weird, mushy texture in it. It's not terrible, but compared to that, it's bad. I'm gonna give it a four. So Glowin is getting a four. And I'm gonna slide it down here in the seven spot. Bring on more dogs. Hot dog number three is another one I have never heard of. It is called Solins. And I'm sorry, Solins, if I'm mispronouncing you. I particularly apologize if I bite into an it's fire that I'm mispronouncing. And we got Rosa likes her hot dog. Here, let me. I'm just giving her a bun. Good. All right, let's take a bite.
Ó, ó, ó. Ai, ai. Eu me solto bem. Ó, oh, terrible. Oh, my God. That was horrid. Oh, that was so bad. That, that was close to the almond joy, if you have not seen that video. It tasted like I chewed on rubber. It was, that was horrible. That is a 0.06. Solins, I don't apologize if I mispronounced your name. That was horrendous. Let's move on to number four. Before we move on, I want you guys to understand, I'm not overreacting. This is what the inside of that hot dog looked like. It was horrendous. That Don't buy that in any, like, I don't care what level of struggle you're on. All of us, not all of us, a lot of us have been there at different points. Go for the ramen noodles before you, that was just some level of nasty, nasty. Hot dog number four, we are looking at Applegate Naturals. I'm hoping for a bounce back. It can't be much worse than what I just ate, so. Immediately better. There's no ballpark though. That was a little weird aftertaste. Um, by the way, my reflux is starting to, starting to bubble like a witch's brew. I can just feel it slowly creeping up my esophagus. Um, 5.5. I'm gonna put it here. The decent ballpark right now. I'm gonna take another bite of that to like confirm. Ballpark killing these other brands right now. I don't know what's in there. But maybe it's more artificial ingredients. I don't know, but it is destroying these other three so far. But there's still more dogs to come, so let's bring on the next one. Number five, we have the classic. The one that has Sprawn grapes like Joey Chestnut and Kobayashi. We have the Nathan's official hot dog. If this one is not good, I may not sample the remaining three after this and just be done. I'm expecting greatness. I'm expecting what I would get at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant where I spend $90. I'm expecting greatness. All right. This is what we came for. This is, this is. I could eat probably 10 of these in about an hour if I needed to. Um, I understand why. Mmm. Oh, I, that's good. Mmm. My mind's telling me no. My body's telling me yes. That is getting a nine. Point two. Nathan's hot dog. Oh, that like the. I just wanna. I want to explain. The scale one in ten is not big enough, and I should have probably downgraded that. But the difference between these two hot dogs compared to these three right now is the distance between New York and California. Like we, these two do not buy these. Three. These are the only two you should go with, but Nathan's. Nathan's makes me Birdman, Birdman, and hand rub. That's good stuff. Give me another hot dog. As indigestion officially sets in, we're on hot dog number six, Oscar Mayer. Now, Oscar Mayer gets a bad rap, not gonna lie, but we don't have any biases here. We're gonna take a bite. If it's bad, I'll tell you. If it's good, I'll give Oscar Mayer its props. I will say, it is the weakest dog in terms of, of coverage. It's not, it's not filling the bun up. And when you're not filling the bun up, that's, that's not a good situation. But nonetheless. Oh. It has a weird aftertaste. Nah, 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 nah. 
It's gonna sit firmly there. What did I give this one? Four, and this was 5.5 .5 or something like that. I'm gonna give this, this is slightly better than this. Oh, oh the, it's like an acrid thing. 4.3. Oscar Mayer, you're not terrible. Like, you're not. I forgot what brand this is, and I don't want to be reminded because I never want to grab it again. Um, but if it, I want to, I want to once again explain something to you then. These two. This is what you think when you think of the 4th of July. When you think about pounding some, some Bud Lights, some, some Coronas, and downing some dogs, this is what you think of. This is what you think of when you go to 7-Eleven. So this is the two separate ends of the spectrum. With that said, we got two more. So we're gonna see what happens. Bring on dog number seven. Near and then here with dog number seven, we have the Harris Teeter HT Traders brand hot dog. Me and the cheats go back. You guys have heard, heard me rave about it in the queso video. Let me down a little bit in the fruit snacks, but let's see what they're doing in the, in the hot dog game. Mmm! Rosa, have that. Mmm! Oh! We're gonna have to do a dog by dog comparison. Oh god. Ugh. Indigestion. Oh god, no. That's first. <laughs> let, me, let me calm down. What? That is a solid. So, here's Teeter. I spit up your dog. I will, I will be a sponsor for your brands. Whatever you need, you make some fire food. That is an 8.7. That is fantastic. These three dogs are getting downed in a total of eight bites once this video is over. We got one more dog to see if they can outdo Nathan's, but I'm not confident. But with that said, let's bring one more dog to me. Thank God I'm at the final dog. My, oof, my insides are hurting. Uh, but we have Coleman, and I'm not gonna let my, my impact of my reflux creeping up my esophagus affect my ranking for this one. Um, we got Pep on deck, as I mentioned at the beginning, I'll be fine. So let's take a bite at Coleman's and see if it can dethrone Nathan. Why do so many of these hot dogs have such a weird aftertaste? Oh, man. Oh, as I'm chewing, it's slowly moving down each chew. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> Hard to swallow. Oh, that was rough. Like, really rough. The only reason it's not eight, Rosa, you don't want that. I'm gonna protect your health and well being. You don't want that. The only reason it's not a it's not eight places, I couldn't even swallow that. I will give this a one. Why does my mouth taste like I just ate mint chocolate chip ice cream? What is happening? That was so, point 0.8, switch the rank, point 0.5. I'm gonna keep going now, point 0.5. That was terrible. Now, as Rosa, as my sidekick here, we have our official rankings. Nathan's reigns supreme. Hebrew National, I could not taste you. I heard you guys are great. Hi, Rosa. But you weren't, you weren't at the teats. Maybe you need to get your brand in the Harris Teeter. That seems like a you problem, not a me problem. But. Um, that Nathan's is elite. It is the best. The teats. The good old teats. Very good. Ballpark, very good. These are the only three you should be buying. I'll be very transparent. 
if I roll up to your cookout, you know, not this summer, obviously, but if I roll up to your cookout next summer and you're throwing out any other brand, I'm walking out. You're not getting me to, to down any of these dogs, but these three, the top three are by far the best. There was a weird aftertaste to these bottom five that caused it to um, not be on T-Jack's list of approved eating. I, I would not go this way. And I want to once again highlight the interior shade of this dog. I don't understand why it's so pink compared to all the other ones, but you don't want to go this route. Once again, I forgot the name. I think it's it's Salmon, Sully's, something. I, I do not care. It is terrible. So these are the official rankings of hot dogs. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a great weekend and Memorial Day weekend. Go out if you plan to get some dogs. Pop on one of these top three and you'll have a great time. Avoid these bottom five. With that said, this was T-Jax on Hot Dog Rankings.